Before age two, Adam Trumbull's parents were told Adam needed a heart transplant. Uh, it was hard to watch. He just kept getting sicker and sicker. Adam's heart stopped working, but an implanted pump helped him get strong enough for transplant. It was a six-year-old's heart. Mm -hmm. That gift saved Adam's life, but now he faces another risk. 15% of all patients per year have rejection of their heart. Yearly heart biopsies test for rejection, but it's tough on patients. They bring these kids in, it could be five or six times in the first year post-transplant. Um, it's an invasive procedure, not without risk. Now a new blood test developed by this team could replace biopsies. It will be the kind of test that, that changes the field of transplantation. The test works by looking at the DNA in the blood. The amount of donor DNA in the blood is a clear indicator if or when rejection is beginning. If you pick up rejection early, you can treat it with, um, with a prednisone that can be administered at home. Now seven, Adam takes three days to recover from his annual biopsy. A blood test could keep him in the game. That would be really good. Able to handle whatever gets thrown his way. I'm Marty Salt reporting.